Hi everyone and welcome to the Scratchkiss Academy. This is Eberron Day is what I think I'm going to call it now because I've been looking forward to this all week. So much planning went into it which has all been lost but I'm excited. So first of all a few links. Okay so our Discord jump in there join it's um, a really sort of inclusive family feel community where you can talk D, &D uh ttrpgs or anything you want you can go there for help just chatting and see how people's days are twitter if you want to get in on a game like this or one shots that we are running through the week um, i think we've got 12 spaces every week to hop in dm scrap or the scratchers academy on twitter and we can try and up pop there pop you in one of those games youtube we are really catching up we were really behind but we've really jumped forward so it's getting there considering we're moving as well it's getting there um patreon we are now full time and we really really truly appreciate your support it's another way to support us and we get more of the funds rather than things being taken from it from like subscriptions we get more of a portion of it we also have merch um I love our merch. We've got awesome t-shirts, jumpers, or whatever you want um, on Redbubble. Um, and we've actually got um, one from Wizards and Wardrobes now, um, character art. I think it was uh, Save Dave or something like that from Wizards and Wardrobes, and it's awesome. And I think we're looking to do some more character-based art, hopefully from these campaigns, some things will start to pop up. We are also running a competition for um, some wonderful Pride Rainbow Dice. Um, which um, if you want to see, I don't have them on me uh, because Scrat has them. But if you want to see the photo, they're on his Twitter where you can have a look. Um, I think that uh, that competition finishes in two days. So if you want to jump on that and see if you can get in on that, that's great. But then don't worry, because after that, we've got another load of dice for another competition which is awesome. Lastly, every 10 retweets, we get a wild magic surge, which is a way to influence the game, probably cause some form of chaos to all these lovely smiling faces here, who I love dearly. Um, and thank you, Tour School, for the resub. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so you get a nat 1 or a nat 20, um, and I think it's a nat 20 to Derek. So trying to counter these nat 1s you have because, you know, yeah. Anyway, let's jump into this. We're going to um, hop around the um, screen and talk to everyone about their characters. So let's go clockwise. So Derek, who is your character and how is she feeling right now after last week? So, my character is Kaya Andare, and uh, she is a sword for hire, sort of a, a kind of private investigator, I guess. Um, but I just met all these lovely people, uh, including this tall fellow next to me named Besh, who's lovely and he's sweet. Uh, and we went to this ball, and a uh, very strange man just handed me uh, a wine that he called, said was my favorite, which is Stormreach, which it's not, like I've been to Stormreach, but that's weird. Uh, I like Stormhome wine. But I'm feeling like all else, I'm feeling quite good. Like it's been a lovely day. And I've remembered almost everything too, except those damn streamers. <laughs> yeah, we're still sort of, I think someone's still waiting on those somewhere. And we hop over to Lauren or That Salty Ginger, who is also known on Twitter. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, yes, Lauren, that's Holtz Ginger. All those things are true. Those are facts. Also, uh, uh, pronouns are she, her, and today I'm super excited to be playing Tart, the Changeling Bard, who is a dancer in Sharn, which is very nice. And maybe she is also a member of like, you know, one of the biggest houses here, but it's not a big deal and everything's super chill. Her mom is not scary and she's made a bunch of new friends. So I feel like it's going pretty well already. It seems like it's, uh, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. No one's dead. There are no conspiracies. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I now have a reputation from scary mum voice after last week. Absolutely unintentionally. But yeah, um, that Nat 20, Derek, was from uh, Deirdre. And Jay, you still have one to give. 
if it's either a nat one or a nat 20 to someone of your choice. And in fact, it is now your turn around the board, Tall Sprawl. So, oh, um, mesh? <laughs> well, I'm going to give my nat 20 to Emmett because, you know, I'm thinking made the one person who I can't like kill because I am playing Vesh, who is um, well, he is uh, he's a Kalashtari, and his uh, Kiore um, happens to be a storm giant, and because he is from Seer, uh, there are some un unintended side effects. Uh, to uh, having his Kiore being a storm giant. And um, one of those is that he has been growing very tall and lanky lately. And um, uh, he keeps bumping into things and uh, just as trying, he was trying to make his way uh, out of all of these places there. He could mess stuff up. And, but then he found out that uh, that you know the giants that he was going to go like find a home with down in Zendrick, they're not there anymore. But these people have been really nice. But now we're at this big fancy party, and I dumped ice, an ice sculpture all over the floor, and now I'm all kind of like caught up in my legs and my arms, and made a scene out of myself. And it was supposed to be a nice evening, but I've got really fancy clothes. So yeah, that's me. I'm Bash. And I think we've got a frozen Alice. Oh no! She just looked so proud of you. I know I thought... she was looking so nice. I thought she was just giving me a nice look. I think yeah. So nice. This is this is. I like this. We should all do this. This is the Alice look. Someone cast old person. <laughs> yes, I did. Or a blink. Anyway, I was. Uh... So I'm Tall Squall, uh, and uh, <laughs> and next up, tell you what, why don't we just pass it right on down to uh, to uh, Ash? All right, I am Ash, and I am playing Emmet tonight. He, them, for Emmet's pronouns, she, her, for mine. And Emmet is feeling, well, honestly, they're kind of feeling a little bit reserved because they may have just made friends, but they don't want to get their hopes up. So they're excited but trying really hard not to be not that you would be able to tell because their face is kind of blank yeah they're at a party and that's never happened before so that's new and exciting they've met a scary mom which is also new and exciting and now i guess we get to interact with scary mom again i believe i think you were gonna flirt with scary mom if i recall yes. correctly okay. what have i come back in on <laughs> uh, i just plan. i just threw the ball down to uh, ash so that uh she could introduce herself and we were just probably about getting ready to do a recap of last episode. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, that's absolutely awesome. Thank you. Sorry, guys, I am back. Uh, that was my laptop being very special. So, um, Emmett, had you ex had a chance to describe who you are or anything like that? Yes. Yeah? All gone through? Okay. Hello, I will be nice this week and I will do the recap. So, don't worry. Don't panic. Jay, fine. <laughs> Like I've okay. played with you guys before. I know what this, I know how this game works. <laughs> I'll just spring it on you and you don't know it's gonna happen. Right. Um, so last week we met everyone um, on Thronehold Day. Um, uh, a big massive celebration which is to celebrate the end of the last war designed to show off the treaty. And we I think we bought ice lollies. Um we bought ice lollies, we explored, we got Vesh some armor. Um, Vesh also learned that in the land of the giants, effectively, the giants had disappeared. And no one really knows where they went. There's evidence of them packing up and leaving, but since then there's been no trace. And then Tart decided to get everyone dressed up and take them to a masquerade ball, to which, um, I think only Emmett and Blue at the moment. Blue is a Warforged that they found being beaten up and, you know, thrown about a bit, this poor little thing, by a group of thugs, effectively, um, or just some of the city folk who don't like Warforged. Um, I think Tart covered Emmett and Blue in makeup. Um, 
I took them back to her home where they encountered her mother, which apparently I have a very good, stern, scary voice for. Um, and the others, uh, as in Kaya and Vesh, don't quite know yet. But Tart seems to have a completely different image as well, Ophelia, um, of the House Valerian. And they are now, they have just arrived, and this poor Vesh has destroyed an ice sculpture and sent it sailing across the floor. And Tart has, um, well, escorted by Blue and Emmett, it's this masquerade ball, has received a note in her pocket saying that Ophelia knew too much. And that is where we will start today. So. We got over 10 retweets. Okay. Um, yep, that is uh, ready for a world magic surge. So, Emmett, you're number one. Vesh, number two. Kaya, number three. And Tart, number four. I'm going to roll a 1d4. And we're going to see who gets that. Number two. Okay. So, I'm just going to double check on the dice roll for that. Right, meanwhile, you guys jump back into it. So, Tart, you've just seen the message. Uh, you're muted. Okay. So, right. No, this is my voice today. <laughs> she has, they have to remind themselves sometimes of what voice they're supposed to be doing. You met? All right. Yeah. Everything is fine. Don't panic. You look like you're panicking, but you don't need to at all. You're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's weird. No one's talking in my head, especially not that guy right there. I will not no. panic. Great. So, I don't know if I've ever panicked. You've never panicked? I don't think so. Would you like to? You just told me not to. No, no, I don't mean now. Just like in your life. Oh. It doesn't matter. Come, it come with me. Okay. Who is like, what is panic? Uh, it's kind of when you, like, what I do is I start stammering and I can't really stop myself from talking and I just talk about anything, anything to make sure that everything's fine and my heart rate rises and I'm doing it right now and I'm just talking and I'm not really saying anything of importance. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk over to the scary lady. We're... You yes. need to calm down and regulate your breathing. And not panic. But not panic. I just thank thank you. Yes. It's easier said than done when you have lungs. They're hard to control. It's very frustrating. All right. Just come with me. Let's all hook arms and walk casual. Walking casual. Casual. Okay, so wild magic surge. I will work this in. Vesh gains a cave fisher as a pet. <laughs> like the monster? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna go well. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll find a way. <laughs> like the little crab thing. Well, I say little crab thing. I think you're kind of big crab things. <laughs> you're a big guy. Like, maybe it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so we're going to work that out in a minute. But, so what are... where? So is Tart, Emmett, and Blue, they're heading over to Scary Lady. Uh-huh. Okay, so what oh. are Vesh and Kaya doing? Um, I believe Kaya was helping Vesh up off the floor... Or was I still on the floor? Was that sort of where we did the, was I making a scene as we ended last time? So, I, I think you were falling over and then Kaya noticed and so yeah. thought, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, I think Vesh at this point is probably lying on the floor um, amidst, oh actually I remember this, amidst this huge like just shattered ice field. Um, Straight the across hat the of the Valkyrie or whatever it was. So he sort of has his ice helmet side of off on one side of his head. He's just kind of looking up with this kind of helpless smile. Um, he's probably attempting to uh, get up uh, up off the floor, but there's ice and there's his legs and knees that always seem to betray him. And um, he's trying to get himself uh, up off the floor. So let's just, let's see how he does. 
that would be a zero. <laughs> um. You effectively run on the spot, trying to get up, and fall straight back down again. It's, I'm, I've been envisioning sort of right out of Looney Tunes, and we can even hear the little yeah, music. Yeah, you're the, the, the run on the spot. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And... Oh, oh, back down, and which probably spreads ice even further. Um, probably knocks over a few more very well dressed people. If I recall, I'm wearing purple, a purple sash, yellow pants, and a very, very bright orange tint of a shirt. Um, that you are. Uh, <laughs> You see people like fl like try and get away, like oh, like these, especially oh, ladies. Oh, let me let me help you up. Let me let me get you up. And like no, I, I'm no, trying no, to get it's people fine. up, and it's making things worse. I probably have putting on my hands at this point. I don't know how it got there, and I'm spreading it on their clothes. I'm, 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 it's fine, dear. Like one of them does try and help you up, but she is still on ice as well. So if you could roll another dex for me, and I'm also gonna roll a dex as well. That's a nine. He's doing better. <laughs> oh, let's see how she does though on this. Uh, this is a five. So combination of you both on ice is you actually start to get a steady footing and it's her who slips again, taking it out your Pulls legs me back down. I, I see her sort of as being an older lady and so Vesh is trying really hard yeah. and so he kind of like dives underneath of her so she lands on top of her. Hey, I, I can catch you. Oh, and they both go down. So uh, the dance floor sweet now. Child. Okay, like, as she tries to clamber off. Let of me you. get you back up. Uh, here, uh, just, just, it, it's just. It's fine, really. Just, I've, just, I've got to watch my hip. Really. Just, yeah, okay. Um, and you, she gradually gets up, and she, this this wiry uh, lady seems to be fairly strong for what she has, and she pulls you sort of almost to your feet, and she's sort of putting hair back in place, and like, okay, I'm I got going it. to go I'm back good. over I'm there. Good. Thank you. You're is, pretty. Is you look very nice tonight. You did lovely fun. things with, well, you're, well, it was lovely. It's uh, fine. Have a fun party. It, it, it's absolutely fine. Um, is, is someone looking after you, child? Child? Um, She's um, looking after I sort of look around. Uh, who do I see? Do I see Kaya or maybe even spot uh, uh, Emmet? Uh, I'm assuming, wow. Kaya, you literally stood almost at the bar watching so, them. So I had been right there. I was about to help them up when this guy had offered me uh, wine, and I just take it from him and go... <laughs> Thank you, dear. Okay, Vash, <laughs> come on, we might want to go find some place with a railing or something where... Those, you know, those are good, those are good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, uh, maybe by the stairs? I that looks I, like a nice railing. Can I get another one of these, please? And it's like, of course, of course. Lovely, same, same again. Uh, yeah, sure. You said storm reach. I mean, it's a good yes. guess. It's storm home. That's what I like. Uh, I'm but, just uh, going on the information I've been given. Thank you. And uh, pause it. Yeah. And this person was twirls off. Like they've been taught to dance their way around the room rather than just serve. Kaya's face sort of, uh, it's, she, she sort of like messes up her face a bit. And she says, wait a minute information I was given. And I said, I, I say, uh, Bash, hang on just a second. Um, yeah, stay right here. I just sort of, I take both of his hands, and I just firmly place them, like, on a table or something. Sorry, we've, we've, um, just had a donation. <laughs> um, Tweeter of Vencia, sorry, I can't pronounce that very well. Donated 20 pounds for Vesh to grow a foot taller. And it's... builds up static electricity supernaturally quickly. Believe it or not, that, <laughs> that kind of works. With it you. actually really does. That cause... really works because of the sort. Yeah. Yeah. But you're everything gonna be about a... me is everything yeah. about me is actually that works. Okay, so Kaya, as you turn, Vesh, you start to grow, and as you move, you can feel your fingertips. Static and they tingle and they start to like if you touch your own fingers they sort of yeah. bark. And you sort of see him like he's muttering under his breath. Um, um, uh, 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 Ugolia, Ugolia, is this? Uh, were you expecting? Were you expecting this? What's going? 
oh, and he, oh, and uh, I figure, because he has this bowl cut, and I see him very much, like when you see a person with that thin, yeah, fine hair, up, yeah. hold on to a Van de Graaff generator, but, so now his hair's like started, you, you've got and like raised up like he put time. his finger in a socket, um, and uh, yeah, no, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, he literally has. I mean, he's a tempest cleric and a, and a um, and a storm uh, storm giant giant soul sorcerer. So yeah, he's a little bit familiar with this, but it's almost like some of more of the strange things that have been occurring to him for the last months is just occurring very rapidly and all at once. And uh, I sort of see Kaya's head sort of receding below me. Um, you know, he tries to put my hand on the table. Oh, this is going to be bad. So he puts my hands <laughs> on the table. And so I'm trying to keep my hands on the table, even though I'm growing. <laughs> um, so what you're doing when you're growing, you're not like equally growing straight upright. You are literally yeah. like, shoulder first yes it, um, I, um, I assume it's yeah it's very awkward bit. and very sort of abnormal like spurts of growth like one leg gets longer first and then the other probably you know you get an, a, a big elbow pops way out to one side and then the other and so it's a sort of very cartoony and he's just like i don't know what's going on so you said that his hands are actually covered in a bit of static electricity so would that have zapped me too it wouldn't necessarily it would be like if you touched a car door or something it's not like okay. a Thunderbolt hitting you. It's literally like static, just at the okay, tips of fingers. Ah, uh, Fesh, I. Oh, this is very strange. Like the the, the old lady that I'm you sorry. Up is now just staring like. So yeah, he was about Not six ten. That morphs off. <laughs> it was a foot, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he was about six ten. So now he's about seven ten. Um, big kid. <laughs> and again. A lot of this is in his like legs and arms. So, I mean, he's one of those kids, like I can scratch my knees without bending over. <laughs> yes, you are currently that, yeah. Um, uh, I'm a little worried, uh, so, I'm a little scared. I, I've got a confession, Vesh. Uh, so, you know, when I did that thing where I was like, oh, I've got a bit of magic and it's, I don't think this is something I did. What, are you okay? You you just well, sort of, I don't want to alarm you, but you've just got a bit taller. I, yeah, well, I've, I've sort of been, I've been going through some changes lately. Oh, it happens to everyone. Really yeah. understand. <laughs> and they, they, I, remember, did I, who was I talking to? I, I was talking to Tart earlier because I thought she maybe had someone who, no, I was talking to you earlier. Um, I, was I at the bar? We talked together. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was like, um, remember you, I you drank some wine, so it's okay. Yeah, remember <laughs> how I asked you if you had someone who spoke in your head? Well, I do. Um, he's a giant. Um, that's why I was going to Zendrick. Um, he's really nice, and he's been trying to help me, but he also, it's kind of his fault. Uh, but he doesn't mean to. But I wasn't expecting, it's not usually this fast. Okay, all right, I get that. Um, I was about to offer you a very informational book. I'm really glad I didn't now. Um, so, okay, all right. So that's very unusual. Oh, if only I remembered anything about this. Um, hmm, okay. Well, tell you what, tell you what, is there like a way we can kind of undo this process? Like, do we talk it down? We think about something else. Do you have a nice fresh breath of air? Or I, well, I, so far I've just had to get used to it. But you know, you keep saying about talking. I, hmm. Well, that's the person who took care of me before that. That's kind of normal for my people. Um, but maybe because I was, you know, from being around Seer, where all that bad stuff happened. I'm not quite, I'm not quite right. No, you're just fine the way you are. You don't have to say not quite right. That's, no, no, you are just fine. We're going to get this sorted. Okay. Okay. I promise you, I, I promise you that. Now look, Thank I just- you, Kaya. Oh, Bash, dear, yes, of course. So, but, but we just got a lead. 
you know, somebody knows that we're here. Um, maybe, maybe they know Tot, because I think Tot's pretty observant. That 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 fellow that just handed me a drink, and he was all like, "Oh, excuse me, Mom, would you like a drink?" And I was like, "Yes, please." And he's like, "Here you go." Information I was given. He knows stuff about us, so I'm going to see if he knows where Tot is. At this point, you will probably look and you will see Emmett and Blue striding quite fast with another very beautiful woman across the, the, the ball, across the dance floor. Okay. Oh, oh, that looks like Blue and, and Emmett over there. Uh, here, Avesh, why don't you very gently flag them down, all right? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I... I'm trying to think, so what, I forget what the ratios are, but yeah, when he puts his hand up, it's he's probably like, he's got like a, probably could like reach up to all my, like 10 feet. So pretty much, hey, Emmett, Emmett, uh, Emmett, Emmett, uh, Emmett. There's the tall child. <laughs> yes, I heard the, <laughs> I heard the ice crashing. We're going over there, just okay. one second. Um, looking over there, uh, so what, Tart will do is she's keeping an eye on several things at the same time. The masked and hooded figure constantly tracking that. She can see Vesh out of the uh, uh, peripheral vision of her eye because he's easier to spot. Um, she has the note folded up in her hand. She never like undid it like this. It was always like right in her hand. Mm -hmm. So what she wants to do is like sweep across the ballroom go up to her mother, mwah, mwah, slip that note into her hand, and then head back over to where Vesh is. Uh, so that's the first part of what I want to well, do. Well, the mother immediately was just like, hello, darling. And she's really over the top. You can tell she's still really mad, but yes. she's like, how is the ball tonight, sweetie? So informative. And that's when I slip. Yeah, um, she's like, and she notices it, and she just sort of takes it and then pops it into the top of her. She's like, thank you. Why don't you go mingle some more? Um, and you can see her dismiss herself from the people she's talking to as she leaves the room. Oh, so I see. So cool. I love her. I hate her. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. Then what I do is I do like a little S. Because, yeah, I do a little S through the crowd, uh, nodding at people. Uh, walk over to the commotion. Uh, um, and, uh, put my hand out to Vesh as though for him to take it and shake or whatever he wants to do. I look at this, because you're, like, put together, beautifully dressed. Yeah. Nice. No, I mean, this dress is, different. like, really <laughs> super nice. Um, uh, oh, you know what? I just grew a foot. So my clothes that didn't fit very well before really don't fit now i probably it's probably all but like oh my god it's probably like a belly shirt and like shorts um, <laughs> um and, uh he, he kind of looks down at uh at uh at ophelia and it's like, like I, uh, I better not i don't want to i don't want to mess you up that's that's it, it is me it's tart hello you're not Tart. Tart looks entire, does not look at all like you. That is right. So today, like tonight, I am Ophelia, but usually I'm Tart. You can hear my silly voice, right? Yeah. Take my hand. Tart. No. Tart. Are you playing hey, Matt, we'll lean down. Oh, actually, lean up. Be like, yeah, I was going to say he's now taller than you. Yeah. A lot taller than you. We were probably about eye to eye before, so, but still a foot taller, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you grew, and this is tart, not tart. Blue just nods with a, what, what you can perceive is a smile on this Warforged face. We're talking very quietly, by the way. I assume like I've gone up to them and I think everybody's probably giving them a wide bird. I sort of looked point. at you, nodded to you, and left out yeah. of the way because they're thinking, okay, she wants to yeah. come on. Vesh. Okay. Yes, it's going to be all right. And she kind of takes, she takes his hand and she's going to cast enhance ability on him and give him cat's grace. 
for the next hour. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. And she's also going to inspire him. <laughs> Just throw all. Yeah. Well, because, well, it was interesting because I was actually going to about to ask Alice. Poor Vesh didn't do very well at his old height um, and was wondering if you there needed if you I was thinking maybe, you know, maybe roll a couple dice to see for how long that I have maybe disadvantage on dexterity but maybe this this would cancel this it out count cancel it out effectively okay. um don't get me wrong if you try and walk across the ice again there may be the, yes yes yeah. there's still it's he's still mesh <laughs> yeah. um but yeah this just gets me out of oh god I haven't even I have even more of a body that just betrays me at every step. You are more knees and elbows than ever. <laughs> yes. Knees, elbows, ankles, yes. Yeah. And I will with, uh, uh, yes, I will very much take that <laughs> inspiration. Uh, ooh, uh, Bardic Inspiration, 10 minutes, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep, and Let it's me. a D6 right now. Awesome. So as they're doing this, um, Kaya almost robotically turns to go after the waiter, just doesn't say a word and just kind of turns and goes through the crowd to find him. Bye, Kaya. Could you, you get me a, could you get me a soda? <laughs> With an umbrella. She'll be back, I, maybe, or not. Uh, just stand still, smile, because you have a lovely smile, very warm and not at all manic looking. So just radiate your beautiful self and you'll fit right in. Don't tell anybody any personal information about yourself while you're here. You will fit in like us. And Emmett still has like the mask that you gave him. Uh -huh. On the stick. <laughs> yeah, on a <the> stick. Yeah. <laughs> and Blue, who you can see like blusher, like just under this mask is just nodding, stood next to Emmett. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to go, yes, that's, oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I have to go away. Uh, if you're going to talk about me, do not call me Tart, call me Lady Fialin. I will be right back. I just have to talk to a gentleman really quick. Okay, Lady Fialin, not Tartophilia for tonight. Try again. Okay, Lady, oh no, Lady Farland. That's good enough. It is not Tart, so we will accept it. It's very important. I would okay. like to see you keep your pretty head on your body. So. He gets very concerned about that. <laughs> you should. Having just grown a foot, he was just <laughs> like, who knows what could happen in this crazy <laughs> party being up on the skywalk. Yep. Uh, and I'll she. Right here. That's a great idea. Emit, uh, you stay with Vesh. I'll take Blue with me for a hot second and uh, I make I snake my way over to that creepy dude to talk to my head okay well, we're gonna hop over to Kaya so Kaya you can see uh, there are lots of different um, waiters and waitresses they're sort of elaborately dressed and they've got trays on each hand and they're spinning as they go and they dance and one of them actually spins towards you and sees it another drink um Sorry, is this the same one that I talked to before? It is. You were given information about me from whom? We're given information on all our guests to make sure that they are as comfortable as possible. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, but I only just accepted the invitation. Uh-huh. Where did you get your information from? Who's, who's running this party, sorry? It's the House of Fialin. You know the House of Fialin, right? It's a bit fuzzy, I'm afraid. We pride ourselves in entertainment, and we like to find out as much as we can about people in the city, people we feel um, our friends have come and interacted with, just in case, you know, an invitation is popped along, and we can make your stay as comfortable as possible. Would you like well, another Next time, just remember it's Storm Home. And uh, I've got plenty. Thanks. Thank you. No problem um, at all. And this person sort of does an elaborate bow and then twirls. 
off again. And I sort of uh, just kind of stop and kind of mouth the word information and just sort of shake my head and uh, turn back towards uh, everybody else. Um, you can see uh, that Tart, or Ophelia at this point, um, is heading off with Blue in one direction, and you can see Emmett basically babysitting Vesh at this point over the other side. Which direction are you going in, or something entirely different? I'm going to head over to Ophelia. Mm -hmm. right you can see she's moving over to um, a figure that is walking away, is walking towards uh, a balcony. Okay, yeah. So... I'm going to be alive for <laughs> Tart, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I am. Okay, so um, Tart, you see this person walking quite quickly towards the balcony. Uh, I'll quicken my pace, not letting them get away. This person turns and looks at you and runs. <gasps> and starts pushing people out of the way. There's like, a ruckus, like people sort of scream and throw the. Mainly not because that there's someone trying to get away, but oh my god, you just spilt the hors d'oeuvres on my dress, sort of mm -hmm. scream. Um, and is making a run for it and pulling things off of tables <laughs> if you choose to follow. She is bad at her duty. Yep, she starts like, she kind of hikes up her dress. <laughs> Hopping when she's closer. She's so bad at what she's supposed to be doing. So you yep. charge after this. Kaya, what are you doing? If you're uh, seeing this? So I'm going to assume that there's trouble and I'm gonna snatch a plate from like like a platter Looks of like drinks like yeah. off of somebody's hand, the first one I get. Okay. Um and I'm gonna run with it after tar after this person. Okay. Um Okay, so at the moment, Blue has seen Tart spring to life, and he makes a similar motion. He doesn't have a skirt, but he picks up his hands and does the really awkward sort of run limp because he's still slightly wonky on one side after you crashing through a lot of the stuff that, as you have elegantly jumped over these things, he has walked through them, like just plowed through them. Um, this um, person runs to the edge of the balcony and turns to look at you and stands on the edge and using a nat 20 spreads their arms wide and just falls back over the balcony. Can I see their face? You see a female face. <laughs> a female face. Um, in fact, can you roll an... Hang on, let's have a look. A perception or... Yeah, no, perception's probably a good one, maybe. If you're having a real look at this face mm -hmm. as they turn and look at you. Yeah. Ten. Okay. You don't see a lot, but you definitely see this is a female face. And you can see, you're not too sure what it is, but there's a, a black pattern. Like, around, from the forehead and around the eye as they fall off the side. Okay. Um, very quickly, a lot of waiters and waitresses they try to keep the dance going and they start scooping things up and, you know, moving things. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone who comes... <laughs> uh, of course you didn't, sir. <laughs> and they keep going and they sort of look at Blue, who's now just stood awkwardly beside you because he has no idea what he was meant to be doing. Anyone who comes up to me, I've slipped my... Uh, well, Ophelia's engagement ring off mm -hmm. and have kind of let tears spring into my eyes. That that woman, she she grabbed my ring early and I thought I thought she was going to get away with it, but she must have dropped it and just kind of giving a to-do about why she was running. I go running past her. Is there like any sort of like banners or anything uh, over the side of the balcony? It is a drop into the, uh, the Dagger River below. Mm. How far? You can see a splash at the bottom, a, a long way down. This is this is built right up at this. We're at the top of the city. We're at the very mm. top. You can like. see the splash at the bottom. Sorry, you got your ring back, okay then? Yes, yes. They must have dropped it as they went over. Oh, well, that's dreadful. 
Um, I'm Kaya, by the way. Yes, I know. Oh, yeah, I sort of remember you talking to Vesh earlier. Yes. Oh, by the way, um, you don't happen to have seen a girl named Tart around here, would you? Um, I... At this point, Blue goes up and thinking we're just reintroducing, puts a hand up. I'm Blue. Oh, yes, no, I remember you, Blue. Luckily, I got that because Blue is one of my favorite colors. Uh-huh. Hi, Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hello. Blue backs up to stand right next to Ophelia. So, um, well, good th good thing you got your ring back. Uh, oh, by the way, um, what, uh, do you know anything about this sort of house, house fiala, house fiala? My God, I'm so bad at pronunciation sometimes. Fiala's right. Um, she, uh, the one thing you would notice that's similar between the two is that uh, the marking you saw on Tart's lower back is on Ophelia's forehead. Hmm. The oh. same one. You know, I actually have somebody, I know somebody who's got that same mark. Yes, Kaya. It's really lovely. Is it, is it a popular, it? is it like a popular um, sort of marking or something? Uh, is it, does it have a meaning? Uh, it's not uh, very common, no. Uh, if no one's around us, uh, Ophelia will lean in and say, it's me, Kaya, it's Tart, it's me, it's right, I'm, it is me. Remember oh, I changed my face? Oh, yeah. yes, yes, I remember now you're doing your thing. Oh. Oh, that's so impressive. You can make your tattoo move? Oh, well, that's just unfair. I'd get all the tattoos if I could do that. Yes. So what we need to do now is just act like everything is super chill and give no one any reason to be alarmed besides, you know, running over tables and chasing after hooded ladies. Okay. So you're getting married? Yes, I'm getting married! <laughs> Just very loudly. That's lovely! They've all stopped fussing over you, but they <laughs> are around. Just not. Who are you getting married to? You didn't say that anything because you weren't like, Hello, my name's Tart, I'm getting married. Like, no one's Kaya, people. Kaya, you what? must call me Lady Fiala or we're going to have a problem. Go oh, I see. Gotcha, yeah, okay, well. Lady Fialin. Um Who are you marrying? Uh Demetrius of House Thorani. Who's that? He's a very nice young man. Oh I bet is he here? Can I meet him? I'm sure he'll be along soon. Oh lovely. Oh well, I'm so happy for you. Oh, yes. Is it? Is this your engagement party? It's kind of a redo, you could say. Oh, well, that is lovely. You, like, wait. So, wait, are you? Oh, so okay. So you told them that I like Storm Home, Storm Reach at Wine. I, I like Storm Home. Next time when you have your people do the whole researching thing. It's Storm Home, not Storm Reach. I don't have them do anything. It's just what they do. Oh, that's really creepy. Yes, it is. It's very scary. That's why we need to be subtle, but I don't know why I expected that to work. At all. I don't know how to say that. I, I, I'm subtle as they come. Not a, nope, mm, nothing. I say nothing. Come with me. We're going to go get the others and try to slip away before mother notices. And I kind of link arms with Kaya. Oh, hey, your mother? No. At this point, you do see your mother stroll back in. She's not looking no. for you directly. She's actually looking like she's heading in a completely different direction towards someone else. She is. Um, yeah, I'm going to link arms with Kaya and uh, make and and with Blue and kind of try to make our way back to the others. 
yeah, you do that unless there's anything in particular Kai wants to do on the way. Um, but otherwise, Blue is just following the lead and as you get closer, just waves at Emmett. <laughs> and then you guys can all be back together again. I'm kind of thinking that maybe a waiter, seeing that even just standing there, I was getting into trouble, like sat me down in like some of those like little like party fold up chairs. So here's this almost eight foot tall person sitting in one of these like normal size chairs. So I kind of like have knees like all the way up to my chin and I, they've probably given me a plate of something. I was going to say, like, I'm really hoping you haven't choked on a volivon or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'm just sort of sitting there with a plate of something, like with cheese and crackers or something, and he's just kind of like, and like they've given me a drink, and so now I'm just sort of like sitting there trying to be as still as possible. Good. Good. They've given Amen. you like one of those champagne flutes. Yeah, exactly. Just like, yeah. And this is how you find Vesh, and how, what's Emmett doing whilst Vesh is sat here like this? Emmett is attempting to be Vesh's cheerleader. <laughs> But it probably doesn't go over very well. Good job, Besh. Thank you. I think you're doing that right. I, I, you think? I think. Are that, you? That person over there looks like they're doing. Oh, Pinky. Okay, I think I got it. No, tip tip the glass more to the left. Oh. Oh. No, too oh. far. Too, oh. Yeah, there oh. we go. Perfect. Oh. oh, now the plate. No. Oh. 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 Yeah. Okay. Good she job, Besh. off the end. Ah, ah. And that will like reach over and like tip it up the right way. Thank you. We're good. Look, we're fancy. We are fancy? We're being fancy. It's a fancy party. And see how ah. fancy we are? My pinky's out. I must be fancy. The three fingers that. Nah. Fancy. Just, just the bottom one. Just, I think it works with any bottom finger. Okay. Bottom finger out. So the hand is closed, just with their bottom finger out the whole time, even when it's down by their we're side. We're so good at this. We're so good at they, they're, they're going to be so glad they invited us. We are good at being fancy. So good. Hi. <laughs> you guys, everyone, come on. <laughs> Hello. OK, team. Vash, you did a really good job. I only spilled three things. We oh. are being fancy. Everything. Bless. You know, I had an internal bet with myself that you would have spilled four things, so you are achieving. Yay, me! And I, I, he literally, he, he lifts up the, the champagne and it kind of flops and then it's... Well, you probably shouldn't bet it on me. Well, at least you're wearing that nice purple sash, so if you just aim for the sash, you'll be fine. Right. Huh. I, uh, I... Uh, kind of waved my hands a little and pressed to digitate the stain away. Thank you. <laughs> Across the room, you see your mother. She is talking to some of the guards. She's holding herself very prim and proper, upright. You can see that she constantly has this air about her and she's in a long crimson dress. You can see she also has a mask just in her hand. And you can see her doing some very sharp, curt movements. And guards start to head towards the doors. And she sort of claps her hands as she stands, and everyone turns to look at her. We have had an absolutely wonderful evening, but I'm afraid this evening festivities must come to an end just slightly earlier than four. I need my beauty sleep and the wonderful Ophelia needs her beauty sleep. And just thank you all so much for coming. We will make this up to you and we will throw another ball in the next week or so because why not? We love you all and you must come back Everyone who's here today, we cannot wait. Isn't that right, Ophelia? And she sort of... You can hear the sort of distinct change tone in her voice <laughs> look over to you and your crowd around you. Uh, <laughs> Ophelia just smiles really gracefully and nods. She's not much of a talker. And you can see, like, this smile oh. is really, like lips are pressed together like Tessa. thank you now if you would all please like to take your favors and we will see you later and she sort of hops off and you see her leave 
out of an adjacent room. Before she's out, you mm-hmm. hear Kaya over the crowd very audibly goes, that's your mom. She looks so pretty. And you just see a sort of. Oh, she's beautiful. Can I... <laughs> like a really like. She seems really nice. Nope. Mm-mm. And she like really like as if she sucked a lemon, like smooths her lips together and leaves. And oh. people start to file out. The everyone? guards are just like making sure people are going out the doors. Okay, everyone, listen to me very carefully. You're going to go outside. You're going to hang a left and then another left. And there's going to be a door. And I'm going to meet you there in five minutes. Okay? Uh, can you write that down? I might not remember that between now and then. Don't worry, Kaya. I will remember. This dress um, is okay. literally too tight for me to have anything on me to write with. Okay. Um, Emmett, you're very sweet. So are you, Blue. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And break. But don't break anything. And break. And you guys all start to usher out. Yep. Yeah. I go I go up the stairs the regular way to my room, hoping to beat Mother Darling. She's gone dearest. out of a completely different door. She's actually not anywhere near you at all. Um, and you guys, uh, so Tart, you get straight back up to your room, no problem or anything. Um, and the rest of you, are you just heading straight out? I do my best to follow her directions, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, is uh, being up on the, I, I'm sorry, the sky, skywalk, skyway. Mm-hmm. So is this like around like the outside of the building? I mean, are we like, uh, are we like next to a big drop down? You were saying that the person just sort of like flipped over and went down all the way to the river a thousand feet below. Yeah. How's this pathway take us? You are fine. <laughs> you okay. I was gonna say, because otherwise, yeah, Vash kind of like puts one hand on the wall and it's like, <laughs> This is almost like a manor house, like so. This is you've got a huge courtyard to step out. Oh, okay, gotcha, you've gotcha, got gotcha. surrounding walls that layer, basically protecting the manor, like watchtowers on it as well. So you can step out into the courtyard. You see some people stay and mingle and chat for a bit, finishing their drinks, and they slowly disappear. It was a lovely party, thank you. It was fancy, very fancy. We're good. Oh, er- some of the guards are quite happy and they're waving as they um, as they leave. Bottom finger, Besh, remember? <laughs> this entire time, Kaya has forgotten that she's been carrying a serving tray. Yes. <laughs> she's sort of like, oh, what was I going to do with this? She just kind of tosses it like a frisbee into the empty uh, ballroom. Oh, uh, you Sorry. see some... Go- Sorry. <laughs> sort of go walk after it as you flung it. And I will lead people left and then left to the door. Blue will walk at the back. Now smaller than Emmett and a lot smaller than Vesh. Um, I think Emmett is, uh, other than Kaya, probably the second smallest one here now at the moment in this little group as you guys all walk around the side. And you can see a small door as you walk around the side. Lots of um, flowers and ivy growing around the side of it. Are we going to have to try to breach Vesh through this door? They're not too smaller doors because they like everything fairly elaborate. You might have to duck slightly. Yeah, but... I'm figuring that's like sort of Vesh's new thing is going to be like catching shoulders and his head <laughs> on doors and rafters because yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I, re- I remember that. Um, <sighs> at the prescribed time, I would open the door, assuming that, yes, that nothing's happened to it. Hi, Vash. Okay. Wait, Great. are you Tart or are you Ophelia? Nope, still Ophelia. Hi. Hi. Uh, Ophelia. Yep. You got a smudge on your head. Yep, and, it's, and it glows a little. <laughs> It's not a smudge. No, it's not. Okay. I get smudge on me a lot. I I figured I'll give you plenty of handkerchiefs to get that. Okay, so now we're going to be very quiet and we're just going to go up these stairs to my room. I believe in you. I believe in you. 
<laughs> Tell you what, love. I'm going to go in front of you, Vesh, because you are very dear and you're very sweet, but I also don't want to get crushed to death if you slip on these stairs. So um, I'll let you go uh, last and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go first. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll do sort of like in uh, sort of arrange it by who's most likely to crush whom to death, starting with obviously Ophelia in front. We can do uh, it. We can walk up some stairs, guys. I know it. I, I've done, I, I can do stairs. If you did lovely all the way up here. But we are probably starting to run out of our luck. True. All right. I am going to intervene. (laughs) (laughs) Vensa donates 20 pounds. Again, for Vesh, creates a domino effect of destruction. Of course. As you guys go up the stairs. We're so dead. I'm going (laughs) to have... As Vesh walks up the stairs first... Your head, you're not quite used to how tall you are right now. Your head mm-hmm. knocks one of the lamps that glows as you do this. As this happens, you smack your head and it falls, knocking you off balance anyway because you're sort of... I have new feet. You've got I big I literally new have feet. new feet. <laughs> you've got big new feet. And I'm seeing it as Vesh reaches out and grabs some of the drapes on the way down. Perfect. Um... I need you all to roll. Hang on a second. <laughs> I'm going to. Let's see. I think. I don't know. It depends. So. I know, Kaya, would you. Uh, first of all, I'm going to get you all to roll perception. See how aware of this you are. <laughs> and then you are going to roll a dexterity save to do this. 16. Typical Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, poor Emmett doesn't see it coming. Um, Emmett is. Nope. I'm just going to roll for blue, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, so, as much as Emmett doesn't see it coming, he does manage to balance himself. So, what's happened is is Kaya is right behind Vesh. Vesh takes her out, effectively. Like, you swing round with your arm as you try and catch, and the Myself, the drapes, the lamp coming to. The lamp basically comes swinging round and clonks Kaya on, like, the chest or the head. Where would it hit Kaya? In fact, well, I'm, do I'm you betting, feel I'm betting that, happen, you two? <laughs> I'm thinking that Vesh, basically, he's, he's watching his feet. Mm-hmm. Because that's, I mean, he has new feet. They are different than his feet. They are probably now in shoes that are way too small. So they're like cramped in there. And so he's kind of having like almost the clown foot problem that is like feet are almost slipping off of the steps. So he's washing them very closely. So he doesn't notice as he basically walks straight into this lamp. As it bumps him in his head, he reaches up a hand, of course, it being like a chandelier or a hanging thing. He grabs it and tries to use it to hold his balance. I mean, he's now a big boy. So he's like, I mean, just even weight wise, even though he's skinny, he's still probably a good 300 pounds. Rips it right out of the ceiling. Um, it comes, you know, it suddenly has its weight. He's not terribly strong. So, and he's off balance on the stairs, reaches out to grab the curtains. So he's got a lamp in one hand, which is on a chain. So it basically becomes a giant flail, comes yeah. swinging around, gets Kaya. The the curtains come swinging around Vesh, wrap around him. Did I get Emmett or not? Emmett? Um, you did get, well, Emmett, you didn't see it coming. However, can you please describe how you just about get out of this falling mass of destruction, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like one of those uh like the full moment where they just happen to like look at something and go to reach and just because they didn't see that they're looking at something else and like oh yeah this also looks fancy <laughs> and leans over to look at it closer as like whatever it is that's coming like swings around and just misses perfect <laughs> um kaya you've been smacked in the head uh by this and also tart you see this coming yeah how do you avoid this you have seen this coming with the six just press myself against the wall and 
say a prayer to no one in particular because I don't think anyone can help us. Yeah. You do this as you press yourself <laughs> against the wall. You see Kaya come tumbling down with a vesh. Um, vesh <laughs> in a mass of everything come tumbling down and Emmett at the right point goes oh and pulls it and at that point also attracts blue to whatever he's looking at so those <laughs> two sort of step out of the way kind uh -huh. lands and smacks her head and what you will see of Kaya for a moment is she sits up and she looks different she twitches a couple of times and the normal smile has turned into a bit of a frown. And her voice deepens. And she's just like, <sighs> like a, you can see her completely tense up and look around at everything. Her, her, her eyebrows sort of furrow into dark point. She looks angry and it's like her breathing starts to get more and more and he's just 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 there like what was that uh, and then oh. as if nothing happened there's a snap and kaya smiles again sorry uh went out there for a second um everyone okay are we like I... back down at the bottom of the stairs? Oh, you are basically effectively on top of Kaya. Like you are now like in her lap where you've fallen, like because she moved <laughs> slightly out of the way to get out. You're on uh, her, like the ends of her legs, like on her shins. I think that it's probably the curtain has wrapped around Vesh's head. Um, and uh, I think in part of this, because it was probably a nice like crystal chandelier or something, so Vesh has tried to save it. So he's got it held up as high as he can. He goes, I saved the light. And I'm very proud of you, Vesh. I don't know where to start, but she's going to kill us. And there's no humor in Ophelia's voice at all. Who's, who's going to kill us? My mother. Don't worry. I will flirt. And that way. We can get our way. She That's will kill you. Sometimes, unless she kills you first for flirting. We found something fancy. And just points at the where Emmett was. <clears throat> it's like a candelabra. Like, it's it's gone. Up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We need to change the plans. We're not staying here. I don't know what just happened. We need to get out because she is going to kill us. Okay. Stop, stop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mesh, I just got to slip out from under you. That's all. Just excuse oh, me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh, here. Oh, are, are you hurt? He, uh, and and Vesh kind of like, again, with his, he's not, actually, he is, actually, God, I forgot Vesh was, Vax is actually strong. He's just really <laughs> clumsy. So probably, you, especially now with his new sort of reach and height to her, just t picks you up and just, don't, he's still sitting on the ground is able to like set you up on your feet. Oh, well, thank wow, you, that, dear. That kind of worked. <laughs> He's almost surprised. He's like surprised himself that he didn't mess that up. Kaya, Kaya kind of gives him a, a like small chuck on, on like the stomach. She goes, well, you didn't toss me out the window. Is that to start? Wait, was there a window around? <laughs> he seems very <laughs> No, 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 dear. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's a joke. I'm making light of it. No, oh. I literally point to a window, a stained glass <laughs> window right behind you. <laughs> And uh, you know, he puts the light, the lamp down. He kind of like sets himself up, and he like kind of folds up the curtain and tries to set it there. That's so sweet. We need to move right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I uh, go out the door. Um, as we're going, um, I undo the skirt part of the dress and like leave it behind, so it's like a short little green mini dress now and uh snap out uh like shake my head and the hair recedes back into tarts curls the eyes change color the mark is gone 
the only thing that looks the same is the color of the dress and the ring, which she turns uh, over. Okay, we need to move right now. Come on, come on. We are going to go to a bar because that seems safer or a dark alleyway. Anywhere safer than where we are. It doesn't really matter, but anywhere else, anywhere else. We will go anywhere else. Great. Let's go. Okay. (laughs) I run out the door. Okay, so you guys can always head back into town, effectively. You slowly leave um, you slowly leave the party behind you and you head back into what's still quite a bustling town. And you're back in the streets. And these streets wind all the way down top. You probably know your way down from here because you've probably snuck out a lot of times. Um, and you can there's lots and lots of taverns basically loads and loads of taverns um the one you went into earlier um feather and quill is still there and still looks pretty open pretty good um i i immediately as everyone is coming in i run up to the bar and they say i need like a dozen of those shiny shots the, the shiny one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I blew. And he's like, and he and, and blue's just like waving at the end of the bar as this guy comes over and slides the shots across. Now, there is like two or three of every color. And as I said before, they're swirling, they're glittery, and they look like they're glowing a little bit. <sighs> I, I, I down three immediately like a red, a pink, and a purple. Constitution save, please. Yes. <laughs> Give it to me. Okay. She's she didn't do that the fancy way. <laughs> so good at drinking. You are very good at drinking. You absolutely fine. You knock that back. You sort of steady yourself briefly, but you're absolutely fine. You're just a little bit happy. <laughs> ah, I feel much better. I feel much, much calmer. Blue walks over and goes, I take it to the table and picks it up and starts walking over to the table. This is his tavern, so yeah. this is how he does it. How are the ceilings in here? They are high. high. You can walk upright. This is quite a large old building. (gasps) Basically, Vesh now, like when he walks in anywhere, it's kind of like does like a lantern check. (laughs) There are no low, low hanging lanterns. There's there's like the odd one, like in the center, which there's the one I hung off of last time. That's right. behind the bar just watches you and then looks at like Kaya and Emmett it's like did he get taller he did I didn't know they could do that and he just gets back to like wiping down the bar and you guys you find a table um Veshu will be far too big for any of the stools that are there I'm afraid to be fair the warforged aren't that too um yeah. fitting for them there are some warforged around just like some of them have actually come and sat down at tables um you hear the odd comments from people around not as nasty as before but you hear the odd comments like oh it's a warforged whatever but otherwise it seems like a pretty happy friendly pub um since i i Fesh will sort of look around and not see anything that's really his size and sort of look to uh emmet and goes I guess we'll stand. Typically, I stand. Okay. Then I stand too. And he and he kind of like starts to try to put his shoulders back and look very, uh, very, very uh, Emmet like Emmet like. And uh, after about five minutes or a couple minutes, he's like. Maybe I'll sit and literally and so he didn't sit down just on the floor. If we're like at, you if we're else at the table, table, I figure, yeah, if he's almost eight feet tall, I fear sitting on the floor, uh, which actually is probably the safest place for him. Probably, I would say. And blue copies. Okay, this works. I mean, it's very cozy. It's like we're around the campfire. I love the fact that Vesh is giant, but when he sits at a table, he looks like a 10 year old sitting <laughs> without a booster seat, except Definitely. he takes up his L. Probably when he does this, it like takes up the whole side of the table. 
exactly that is exactly what this looks like right now you can literally rest <laughs> head on it and it is it is getting quite late in the evening because as much as the party's finished early the Valerian parties were known to run late like early into the morning it's now about i guess what we will call sort of nearly midnight <sighs> okay how's everybody feeling i'm feeling much better i don't know about you is your mom really gonna kill us if she had seen your faces, she might have. She saw our faces troublesome. No, no. If she had seen your faces being in the house after she ordered people away and she thinks uh, somebody knows something, it would be really bad. She's a paranoid woman. She's rightly paranoid. She's not nice. I take another shot. A green one. <laughs> Oh, just one more constitution save. Let's see if that yes. one tips you over the edge. Yes. <laughs> it tips you over the edge. You're not super drunk. In fact, yes. no, no, no. I'm going to... No, no, you don't have any nat ones. Never mind. <laughs> that will tip you enough over the edge. You're not super, like, out of it, but you're yeah. very jolly. Yes. Yeah. Like, I, yes, much better. Oh, you know what I'm going to do is, um, is there anything? <laughs> uh, sometimes I don't think before I open my mouth. Um, is there anywhere I could dance in here? There are, it's just an open space. It's actually quite quiet. There is, um, I guess a band. It's more just like a couple of guys from around the corner that have definitely just made their instruments. Um, and do that uh, sort of thing. So there's music going. You probably to you, it's probably sounding amazing right now. Like oh my goodness, great. So okay, I'm going to tell you guys so much stuff. But first, I really just need to dance this out. If you know what I am saying, and you do, because I just said what I am saying, and it made the perfect sense. I'm very coherent. Um, <laughs> she like runs over to the band. Um, and tells them a song to play. They're like, yes. okay. Yeah. Yes. You, yeah, no, we're going to tear it up, my friend. We're going to tear it up in here. Um, okay. Let me just look at yeah. the rest of them. It's like I'm super into it, I can <laughs> tell. And they're just sort of like forming as they play. It's not something like really dancey, but my God, are you going for it? Like, what I do is I like out of um, my like little it's not like a fanny pack but like a satchel i'll take like a long piece of silk out and like throw it over <laughs> like a rafter <laughs> and i'm doing like the cirque du soleil thing alice that's what she yeah i do you know what? i fully expected this <laughs> wait i can spin in this chair that my headphones would fall out <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you were all seeing this. She's like, she's definitely drunk and she is just doing all form of acrobatics off mm -hmm. um, these Swinging. old wooden timbers that are holding this place together. <laughs> <laughs> we I... have reached 20 retweets. So we're going to keep the same numbers again, just to confirm. It's Emmett 1, Vesh 2, Kaya 3, Ophelia, or top, sorry, top 4. And we will, I'm just going to roll a 1d4. Go ahead, wow. sorry. Uh, I think I'd probably bump uh, Emmett and go, there's another something that's fancy. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> that <laughs> is also awesome. fancy. That's I'm fancy sorry, that... dancing right there. <laughs> that is. A wild magic surge to Kaya. Could you please roll a 1d 442, please? It's about to devolve. <laughs> I was going to say, can you make like a dexterity check on actually staying on this ribbon for me, please? Uh, yeah. Can I do... Uh... Can I give her disadvantage because Vesh tries to get closer <laughs> to watch better? Yes, you can. Like, and she's you know, we usually well. take the help action. Can I take the... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. You can absolutely. Yeah. Vesh, it, he just wants to get closer and see some fancy dancing, <laughs> but it's Vesh. So <laughs> an ankle, a leg, a foot, something. Yes. That, yes. Okay. So uh, acrobatics. Advantage, please. Yes, yeah. please. And roll with disadvantage. 
ac- oh, acrobatics or performance? Which one would you prefer? Which one do you think is more? Well, I think just because it's dancing to be performance, I think the disadvantage is going to tip it anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, think it it'll really matter, but it's something that she does as part of her act. Yeah. Yeah, go for that. Twelve. Okay, so as this happens, sort of, Vesh gets a little bit closer and it's to duck under the first, like, leg coming round swing. And then on the second one, as the arm comes round, he, you get clipped. Like, Vesh uh-huh. gets clipped around the back of the end and it sort of sends you off a little bit. And you sort yeah. of, you don't hurt yourself. You're quite close to the floor. You sort of flump on the floor. Can I, instead of flumping on the floor, can I, like, land on his shoulders? Yeah, you can land on his shoulders Me? and the... the the material itself starts unraveling and piles on uh-huh. top of both of you. <gasps> You're really good. Thank you, Vesh. This is the only time I will ever be taller than you. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I pat his head. <laughs> I, we, let's get really tall. He stands up. <laughs> <laughs> Blue starts clapping. <laughs> he's not too sure what's going Ta-da! on. And like with red silk is coming down and he's got his, so red silk's draping off of him with his orange shirt. That's like a belly shirt now. It is yellow culottes and purple sash. And he just goes, ta-da. Okay. Two things have happened. The world magic surge. I'm first thing I'm going to apologize to Kaya. You gain a nat one. And then I've got to roll random for one of you to get a nat 20. <laughs> so Kai gets a nat 1. Maybe it'll be Kai. That yeah, be happy, let's hope so. so. Same numbers as before. Let's have a look. Hey! You do get a nat 20 and a nat 1, Derek. Hooray! Yay! I'm so However, happy. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. Did Vecna do it? The mother is turning up. <laughs> at the tavern you see yes and you are drunk tar <laughs> kill you guys. and you see a woman stride in hood up cloak on and she just whips the hood down and you see some people physically run out of this <laughs> they, know, yeah, they physically just go nope and they leave and they get there you can even see the dwarfs behind the bars like slowly rubbing down and slowly just disappears behind <laughs> the bar and she strides over to Tart and Vesh who I say what are you doing we're being fancy <clears throat> it was a lovely party thank you for having me do you know how much danger you're in right now do you know I'm really sorry, I can hear Scrat laughing in the other room. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know how much danger you are putting them in right now? You are all compromised, Tart. Uh, I mean, we're pretty competent, I think. Say this from a giant child's shoulders. He's not a baby. I didn't say baby. I said child. Do not talk back to me. Now get back to the house. Kaya, who has not spoken this whole time, she's been in sort of a bit of a fog, speaks up and says, oh, shut up, you nasty old crone. The whole word's on fly anyways. And that will lean down to Kaya and be like, wait, was that flirting? (laughs) Was what flirting? (laughs) Sorry? I was out for a second. Huh. She looks at Tart briefly and then looks at Kaya and then looks back at Tart. Do you want to keep this one or not? Kaya, what's going on? Hello, I'm (gasps) Kaya. Nice to meet you. Uh, I will see you guys later, maybe. You will all come with me now. Lovely, where are we going? We are going back to the house. Oh, lovely. Your now. house is wonderful. Tart, if yeah. you can't keep that one quiet, I will chop out her tongue. So hurry up. And she turns and starts walking out. Sorry, say that again. This woman has started to walk out. And she's like, I do not take 
talking back. And she slams the door on the way out. Okay, okay, everyone. That's mom. Well, she seems fucking pleasant, doesn't she? You're fun tonight. You're different. I like it. It's scary. So, to what lengths do I have to go to cut out her tongue, sorry? Uh, you don't want to do that. Or try I that. Challenge. Yeah, well, you can also have 50 people on you if you try to get anywhere near her. Those are odds I like. <laughs> okay, well, maybe that's great. That's great. This is going to go really, really well. You've sewn mm. up like this. Like yeah. Your mother's presence is just, and you can see the dwarf like slowly looking up over <laughs> the side of the bargain. So, lead the way, shall you? Yep. It's the same way. Here we go. We're just going to go back to the house. This is normal. Everything's normal. No one's going to die. Here we go. Vesh. Vesh. Well, I think Vesh. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. To, um, Vesh is Vesh is really, really scared and really kind of, and um, I think he fun. I, I think he thunderclaps a little. <laughs> it's, it kind of can't hold the thunder in, kind of you. Know, and so there's a little like. Yeah, As you do that, the dwarf dives behind the counter <laughs> again. <laughs> Sorry. That happens I start at like that. I just sort of, oof. What was that? That was me. I'm sorry. That happens oh. sometimes when I get nervous. No, no. I Sorry. Well, I missed something. What's going on? Last I... Oh, your mom was here. She said, let's go. And that she seemed lovely. She's taking us back to the house to kill us. And we are not <laughs> panicking. <laughs> now, is this in character Tart just losing it, or is this Lauren? <laughs> that was Lauren. Tart is so scared. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Okay. Here we go. Nobody say anything. Let's just walk in a tense silence. Uh, if you have any wills made, you could hand them to me now, and I will make sure that they are carried out. Wait, why? Are we in danger? We could be, but if we're very nice and quiet, then maybe she won't notice us. I've ta I thought you realized by now. I'm always nice. No, no, you're nice. You are different sometimes. Yeah. Well, we're all a little bit different sometimes, aren't we? Uh, we remember we had this conversation earlier. I remember that. Well, yeah, uh huh. It seems I'm the only one who stays the same. I, I kind of stay the same, but 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 but. So about this time, have I walked into the door with Tart on my shoulders yet? Um, I feel I want you to make a dexterity check for this, just to see if you almost proper knock her out. <laughs> if, if it's been an uh, enhanced ability lasts an hour. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm assuming... I'm assuming it's been more than an hour, right? It could be. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I, think, I think it's still up. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> That's it. Will power your way. Yep. Yep. Hey, that's hey. a 14. Okay, so you're very aware of- I'm very Tart. scared. Like right Apparently. now, you're so scared, it shocked you into realization of what it is. So you effectively duck under <laughs> the thing and Tart, I'm guessing how you I probably set. I, I probably set Tart down after we go through, go, oh, that was a close one. <laughs> I saw it coming from so many miles away. So many. Okay. Okay, everyone good? Everyone good and scared out of your minds? Uh-huh. Perfect. Is that, Is that yes. good? Okay, Running I'm doing it right. Up behind yes. Emmett. Emmett, we want to look very scared. Uh, uh, I said, you still have the mask and the makeup, just like out of yeah. curiosity. <laughs> okay, so does Blue. So... 
Okay, here we go. Walking up to the skywalk. Everything is okay. No, it's not. No, it's not. No. Okay, yep. I scamper. Yeah, you guys walk up. Um, I'm assuming you go quite slowly, sort of really <laughs> trying to make sure this doesn't happen too quickly. Um, and you can walk back up to the same door you went yep. into. Um, you can head up to your room fairly easily. There's no one mm -hmm. there. There is a guard waiting just outside the room who hands you a note. He's like, he's like good evening, my lady. And just hands the note. He's like, I will be out here if you need me. That's so great, Max. Thank you so much. Uh, this little sort of fairly young guard that definitely has like the helmets too big for him and everything else. Mm -hmm. He's like, thank you. And he just stands <laughs> aside and opens the door for you. Okay. Hi, when <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. Like, as you step and walk in. <laughs> um, I open the door to my room and I'm going to take I'm going to take Vesh's hands and I'm going to walk him over to the bed, which is like a big um, lush canopy bed that's got like super fluffy pillows. And I'm just going to sit him down on the bed. And yep. I like bring his feet up too. Just like. I say you could do that. Okay. <laughs> I think like. You, you're safe now. <laughs> Or, yes. Okay. Okay. I won't touch okay. anything. Okay. Okay. I open the note. <laughs> it's something very simple um, from your mother that just says, no. we will speak in the morning. Uh. Um, oh, okay. So, Vencia subbed and you have so thank you very much and you have a nat one or a nat 20 to gift to whoever you may please um and I keep pronouncing it wrong and I'm sorry it's Vecna I I'm not very good at reading names I apologize <laughs> um Max po pokes his head around the door he's like ah uh, I don't know if you saw but put some blankets in the corner for you just, just in case you hadn't noticed okay I'll, I'll see you later. At least does like this weird bow to try and leave. Uh, thank top. you, Max. Thank you, and Max. There is a pile of lots of pillows, lots and lots of blankets and things like that um, for you all in there. Okay. Uh, you want to make a pillow fort, everybody? I've made forts, but never a pillow fort. That sounds lovely. Oh, he seems really nice, by the way. Max is nice. I, he should work for someone else who's nice. Oh, your mom seems lovely. I don't know why you wouldn't want him to. <laughs> but it's really nice of her to just suddenly invite us over to her place again. That was stellar. Yep, we're all so nice here. <laughs> I just keep looking at Besh's face. Uh huh. Besh, you stay there. Uh, well, I, I don't want to take your bed. I'll just go. No, I, no. I'm sleeping in a corner. I no. can sleep over in the corner. No, you stay. I can take a plate. You're good. You can oh. have it. Thank you, you it. Vecna, for that nat one to Vesh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I will use it wisely. <laughs> We're going to get through this night. I know it. <laughs> so are you guys all sort of going to sleep or what sort of thing are you doing? We met because they were told that we were making a fort. We'll stand guard because they don't sleep really. No, I mean, Blue will probably follow you as the bigger wall forged and try and just copy what you I will, do. I will instruct Blue as my, my subordinate. Blue and stands he sort there. Of salutes you and just stands. He finds like a curtain rail that he grabs as like a a sentry sort of post thing. Good blue. Good. So is Tart and Kaya and Vesh, are they all gonna try and get some sleep? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I want to use my nat one for my long rest. <laughs> <laughs> because is this like a canopy bed? 
I'm. I said it, to... and I thought of it, and I. But I said it. I said it. I am going to evict that afterwards. However. Okay. Fish. Oh, okay. You. You just like, oh no, it's serious. I swear it's not the mum coming back. <laughs> <laughs> As you fall asleep, you find yourself in a city. A dark, dark city. The, 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 the city is empty. There are lots of winding passageways and pathways. And there's nothing here at all. You can see dirt on the floor and things in front of him. Nothing at all. Just a high rising city. You can't, you, you look up and you can just about see the starry sky. Hello? Is anybody out there? You hear nothing, apart from your own voice echo back. And then you hear footsteps. And they seem distant at first. And a woman walks towards you. She's got long brown hair, big, beautiful eyes, and she smiles at you. And she sort of leans forward and puts her hands on her knees. And she looks at you. Her lips don't move. And you just hear, Oh, my sweet boy. Vesh, are you okay? What are you doing? Mama? Hi. What are you doing running away around all these? I haven't been loving looking for you for ages. Like, her lips aren't moving at all. Uh, he's not, yeah, because he's not answering back. I got lost. That's okay. You've done that before. That's fine, because we're, look, I'm here again. I'm trying to find my way home, and I can't. Sweetie, I know, I know. It's fine, it's fine. Always follow your feet. I know you trip over them a lot, but that's a normal thing. You're a boy, you're growing, it's fine. I'm lonely. I know, sweetie. I'm lonely too. I really miss you. Okay? But we'll find each other. That's that that that's what we do, isn't it? That's what we do. That's 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 why we're like this. And she sort of taps her head. And I like, remember. Okay. Yeah. And there's no there's nothing wrong with this. This, this is home. It's okay. And... It, it's well, dark yeah. here, though. It is dark here, but it's not always dark here. It's fine. And she's just smiling and nodding. And you can see in all the streets around you, these rolling clouds of mist start to fill the streets. Not just on the ground, but I'm talking. It's, it's almost like a tidal wave of it slowly creeping in and seeping around. He, he goes out to, to reach for, I don't like it. I don't like it, Mama, I don't like it. It's fine, it's fine. And she literally holds out her hand. And as she does, you just see like a woof as of cloud and mist. And it, it you feel like it hits you as you wake up. And it, Probably Vesh reaches out, and that's when this he... This is when I... Yes, I'm going yeah. to smoke the nat one, and you are going to crash the entire bed, waking everyone up, and you can hear a guard outside, probably Max, almost fall over. <laughs> and, and, and with, I assume, like, all the sort of, like, uh, uh, curtain and fabric and everything like that, it feels to him like he's being smothered by this mist, and he probably starts crying, Help! Help me! It's got help me! And he's a mess. Um, you will all hear this. Panic. Tar you might over to help. Mm -hmm. Blue will Tar jump to attention with the curtain rail. 
Um, I mean, he's just sort of thrashing now, probably wrapping himself deeper and deeper into all of this the debris of the canopy bed and the fabric and everything else um, as he's trying to uh, trying trying to just get himself out of this sort of almost fugue state. Uh, Tart will uh, grab like a, 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 just like tear some of the fabric from the canopy and press it as you take a little water on it and try to like put it on his forehead um, if, if she can and she'll kind of if something about it is familiar to her this kind of uh, almost panic state and she'll kind of start humming a little uh, and she's going to cast heroism as she does this as she's like cooling down his forehead and humming and trying to soothe him, just trying to do whatever she can. It's not really an intentional casting. It's just something that her right. being is trying to communicate to him. And while this is happening, Emmett will try and untangle Vesh from the from all the drapery. It's wood that has fallen down yeah. as well. I'm guessing this is a four poster she, bed. This is a fake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And oh, I'm imagining it, even though it's very traumatic. If anyone who's seen Went with the Wind, the Carol Burnett thing where he has the curtain rod across <laughs> across the shoulders for the big green dress, I'm kind of yeah. seeing that that's kind of Vesh with his head through, you know, as you've ripped open the sheets and he's like that sort of, and so he's sort of laying there uh, tangled up in all of this and hyperventilating, but, um, can I do like a wisdom saving throw to see? How, oh, if he calms down, or what would you like me? Um, I'd say a wisdom saving throw is good, just to see how he's coping, because you've probably never had a dream like this before. Okay, it's a nine. Um, I think that he now know. I mean, he's probably come out of the the fugue state, but he's still probably very upset from it. And just is looking up and Tart, Tart. Yeah, I'm right here. And he just, these long arms just go and just hugs you so hard. <laughs> he starts crying. Okay. Uh, yeah, she'll hug him back and, uh, yeah, kind of stroke his his back and just sit with him I'm all alone i can't find my mom and now the giants are gone and i've got nowhere to go you're I not alone go. bash bash you're I not alone go. you're not alone um We're right here. We're not going anywhere. You're with us. Everybody You're safe. Says that. Everybody says that they're not going anywhere. I always mess it up. Yes, you haven't messed anything up. I'm sure you have not. It's going, it's going to be okay. We're just going to sit here. We're going to sit here all together. Your friends are with you. And we're not going anywhere. Okay, 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 okay. I ruined your bed. I told you I should sleep in the corner. You did, you broke nothing of any importance, Vash. It's just a thing. It's just things, it's okay. Okay. And he starts well, humming that song that his mom or that Tart was humming. While this is going on, probably the first half of it, Emmett would have turned away because it was a wee bit triggering from like past events that they had experienced, like during wars and battles and seeing kids cry and screaming for their parents. But then after a while, they're like, no, not now. These are friends. So then at the end of it, they would have turned back and like tried to awkwardly pat 
Vesh on the back. Probably with a little bit more force than they should, because they don't realize, but... Vesh probably grabs and holds in its hand. It's like it's hugging Tart and just is kind of rocking and humming at this point. Despite all of this, Kaya is still in the corner. Despite being a high elf, appears to be in a dead sleep, even snoring. <laughs> um, Blue has um, not really thought about people's belongings and walked over to some of the drapes and just torn a corner off it and walked over and tried to, again, probably with more force than should, just like trying to dab <laughs> Vesh's face. I'm really sorry if she punched you in the face. <laughs> it's like a, he, he's a, this is what the dwarf does. And he's just, you know. Thank, thank you, Blue. Thank you, everybody. I'm better. I'm okay. I'm sorry. You, you don't have to be okay. It's okay not to be okay. Really? Really. That's good then, because I'm I'm very rarely okay. <laughs> That's okay. 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 <sighs> we'll all be not okay together. That's it. See? Yes. All good. See? We are not okay. We are We're not okay. Together. Yes. I like the bed like this better anyway. It gives the room more character. This, uh, I kind of look like that one old lady at the party who had the big shoulders. <laughs> yes. Yes, she is funny. She is a sneaky old witch. <laughs> but yes, her shoulders are very funny. <sighs> okay. I'm going to change now. We can wake Kaya up and then we should all go down to breakfast. I'm just thinking of all the silverware and glassware that's in there. We should go maybe to the tea room. No, that's worse. We'll go to, we'll go back to the ballroom and we'll sit in the middle of the floor until mother comes because she will come. Like a picnic. Yes. Yes. Like a picnic. That's a great idea. Okay, real quick. I'm just going to change. Um, and she like shh, does the shake thing. It gets really fast and she's back as Ophelia. Uh, yeah, grabs like a dressing gown or something that she would eat breakfast in. Okay. Uh, does someone want to wake Kai up? I'm actually very impressed with how she was able to sleep through that. I'm seriously impressed. It might walks over. Kaya, wake up. If nothing happens, Blue will get the curtain pole and just start poking slowly <laughs> in the side. But, uh, oh. Oh, yeah, what day is it? Emmett, Vesh, Tart, Blue, Kaya. Okay, hi, morning, everyone. Morning, morning. Wow. We're going to uh, have a picnic yes. in the ballroom. Oh, it's a bit early for that, isn't it? Be like a breakfast picnic. Oh, so like a breakfast in the park? Are we going to a park? No, we're just going downstairs in the middle of the floor where there's nothing around that could cause anybody any trouble. Yes. And we're I've going. Never been on a picnic. Oh, they're quite fun. Do I bring things? Uh, you just bring your lovely self. Uh, we could bring some pillows, although I don't think that's going to help us with her. Yeah, we could bring some pillows. It's fine. It's fine. And okay. we Yep. Okay. Yep. Is your mom going to join us for the picnic? Yes. 
Oh, lovely. Oh, I can't wait to actually sit and talk to her. Uh huh. Um, Vecna donates again. Golly, thank you for all the wonderful support of the station, Vecna. You're gonna like it even more because it's a really sweet donation. Aw. So, Vesh gets a teddy bear enchanted with calm emotions. Oh. So, Tart, I feel yeah. like this might be something you will know yeah. about. Yeah. So, um, I will leave this one effectively to you. That's perfect. Um, so as we're all getting ready to go downstairs, she kind of uh, remembers something and she uh, scurries back into the closet and starts kind of throwing like old ball gowns to the side and like throwing them out, trying to find something. I'm and assuming finds- probably covering Emmett and Blue. Yes, we're just standing behind you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she reaches and she finds uh, a small bundle tied up like a polka dotted uh, uh, sack almost uh, and she unties it and reaches in there are a couple of really old battered worn looking things in there some keepsakes uh, from when she was younger before she got to Sharn um, and one of the things is uh, uh it looks like a bear, uh, kind of shoddily made, like one of the eyes is missing. Um, it's got a slight pinkish tinge to it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's like, it's not well made. So like, uh, one of the eyes is gone. The beak is kind of right. It's somewhere between a snout and a beak. Um, and it's kind of tinged pink pinkish a little just with age like it's faded away um and it's got uh a little heart sewn onto it a little red heart and uh she picks it up and then hides the sack away again um under shoes or something that she doesn't really care about um and she runs out and catches up to Vash uh here you go this is for you. And he sort of reaches out, and I, I kind of see it again because his hands are like huge. Yeah, it's like oh, it like fits him. Yeah, it's like fits in one hand. Really? Yes. Uh, it is mine from when I was very little and traveling around, uh, everywhere really. And uh, whenever I would get scared or when I would feel sad, I would just press it to my chest or even just squeeze the little hand a little. And it always made me feel better. I, I don't even remember where I got it from, but it, it always made me feel better when I was alone. Uh, you're not alone, but even if you feel that way in a crowd, you know, you can squeeze it. And you will remember that I am there for you. Uh, and about halfway through the description, he's just sort of like squeezed it and put it up, and he's just like, "It's good, and that will fit right in your pocket." I mean, there's nothing wrong yep. with carrying around teddy bears, personally. Like, you know, you do you, but if I don't know what you like to do, so if you need to put it in your pocket, you can. Uh, thanks, Dor. You're it's welcome. A little choky, and uh, yes. yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah, he's still in his fancy clothes, which I guess the chain mail you can see underneath is sort of now a little yeah. bit. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, it's like chain mail with fancy clothes. And uh, yeah, he, uh, there's, I assume there's, you know, in a tunic, there's some type of sort of inside pocket. Um, and uh, he, uh, he sort of puts it in there and uh, thanks. That's really, really. Thanks. He kind of like, he kind of like, you know, needs his hands around. And... You're very welcome. Let's go have a picnic. <clears throat> yes. You know, Vash, that it, it suits you like in a very endearing way. It's almost like, uh, sort of like, uh, very complimentary to you. It looks good. He'll be a great companion, I bet. Yeah. Oh, bears are, they're smart and they're brave 
and their bird, and their bear, and they're big. Yeah, that's like three out of four of the things that you are. Can you guess which one you're not? A bird. Oh, huh. yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Tart, as Ophelia kind of putting her serious face on after once she's in front of Vesh, uh, her face falls and uh, yeah, she makes her way, leads everybody back to where the party was last night uh, with a few pillows in her hand. What sort and, of order are you yeah. following a theme? I'm going first, yeah. Mm. Um, I think I'm probably walking behind Emmett. Just again, thinking that if anyone can stop me from falling down the stairs, it would be the Warforged, as <laughs> we're the closest in size and weight and those types of things. That so sounds have wise. Thanks, Emmett. Emmett will go next then. Emmett. Okay, Blue will probably follow behind Emmett, just again following the larger Warforged, but again clunking slightly, walking to one side. So what's uh, Kaya doing at the back? Anything? Kaya is just sort of happily humming to herself, making sure that she's at least behind Vesh and uh, Emmett as they're going down the stairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. She turns to Tart and she says, you know, I, you're just so lucky. I, I mean, my home back in Storm Home was lovely, but this, oh. And even at Blake, it was so comfortable. Yes, I feel so lucky she says a little too loudly even though you see nobody around that's yeah, that's so nice she just kaya just seems completely just overwhelmed by how lovely everything around her seems you know mm. the, the beauty of it it's almost like a reflection of how lovely like your mother and this whole just thing seems it's just sort of like you know hand in hand a bit like uh Vesh and his owl bear you know Hmm. Sure, but appearances can be deceiving. Hmm. I hear that get thrown around a lot. Um, so Vesh, sort of overhearing this, goes, so you don't want to cut her tongue out anymore? Vesh, are you asking me? Or are you asking Todd? Todd, why would you want to cut out your mom's uh, tongue? That's awful. That's horrid. Why would you do that? I do not, I've never said that for anyone who's listening. This is a miscommunication. Go no, back you, to whatever you were doing. Kai, you said it yesterday at the bar. Oh, if I did, I don't remember. That's awful. Bad manners. Maybe it is because I was drinking. I did have a little bit much at that party. You also hit your head. We fell down the stairs and I fell on top of you. Oh yeah, no, that, I don't remember much of that, but I do remember my legs were a bit uncomfy. But I, I'm still walking fine, see? Yeah, uh, just, you know, be careful of what you say. Oh Please. yeah, of course. No, I mean, I'm, I am, trust me, Amber, I'm talking, I'm Kaya of Kaya's conundrums and problems. I have this in the bag, Tart. Don't you worry. Okay. I'm always careful. I am so completely discreet. Uh-huh. When uh, Tart says, watch your step, immediately Vesh goes back to watching his step because, yeah, that's important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys make your way to this sort of great hall. And this is a huge hall. You can see where the party was there once before. There's a few tables still set up. Um, and it looks like it's probably being set up for another event. Nothing too fancy, probably a meeting or something. Um, and yeah, you can see lots of doors all the way around. You can now see that this hall is huge. It goes all the way up and there is a huge starry sky painted on the top of the ceiling. And the stars twinkle and glint and every now and then you see a shooting star that is painted 
fly across the ceiling. Yeah. And there are lots and lots of archways, which are windows, which look out over the Dagger River. And you can see the sun creating a lovely, soft, warm glow over the backside. Uh, I, I lean in to everyone who I assume is looking up and I say, see, that's there so that you can look up and expose your neck for the crossbow bolts. Isn't that nice? What crossbow bolts? Oh, so many. And you'll probably look around and see along the tops of the arches, many little holes <laughs> around in between. <laughs> no, oh. Oh, and Kai immediately puts her chin down, <laughs> and she just looks really tense. That's nice. Yeah. Um, Bess is like trying to pull the chain mail up around his neck. <laughs> Aya unconsciously just sort of slips behind Emmett to use him as cover, but she doesn't know why she's doing it. Why she's doing it at all? <laughs> Emmett starts counting the holes to note where everything is. <laughs> Smart. There are no good angles in here. Yeah, I, I look at Tart and go, how can you be so nice and everything be so scary at your house? It's scary to me too, Vesh. It's scary to me too. Do you want to run away with me? <laughs> ah, I don't think I would get out of the city. Well, and like definitely I not. I I don't want to go anywhere because I'm very happy. Aya claps her hands together and says, "That's fresh. That's shockingly romantic. How long have you felt this way?" <laughs> he kind of looks at her questioningly. He looks at Kaya very questioningly. Goes, "Oh, uh, she gave me an owl bear. Oh, it's like." Love at first gift. That's so sweet. Oh no, I well, I love the owl there. It's really nice. But oh, you got to be careful when you ask a lady to run, run away with you. Why? I'll explain when you're older. Oh, okay. <laughs> Emmet is confused also. <laughs> I'll explain when you're how old are you? <laughs> much older than you probably oh let's see I turn 221 20, I don't oh, I'm losing count blue just twitches his arm that's sort of half hanging <laughs> off like, not really sure what to do <sighs> I don't understand either Emmett <laughs> this maybe, is we, maybe we should just run away confusion Okay. <laughs> you uh, all sort of, as this starts to, um, you sort of slowly getting prepared for breakfast, you hear a bell ringing loudly, like really loudly. And Tart, you'll probably know these are the main city bells that actually sit on top of your part of the city. Mm -hmm. These are alarm bells. These are not to call people to prayer. They are not to alert the city of the time of day. And you suddenly realize there are no guards in the room. Normally, you have guards beside the doors. Uh, I immediately look around for any movement. There is no move. You hear like a clanking which you think is metal running up the stairs. And you can see Max, and he's like out of breath, and he's like, <sighs> Ma'am, um, my lady, um, oh, God, that's a long staircase. Spit it out, um, Max. We've, we've got a problem. Your mother wants you up on the roof. Now. All right, OK. And he uh, disappears back up a spiral staircase. Can we come too? I, I would. Come on, come on. Okay. Uh, yeah, she starts running. You guys all run up this, this staircase, which spirals up and up, and you find yourself on huge city walls. And this is layer upon layer upon layer of city walls. You can see all the way down into the city. And you can hear 
as much as people are very low down below in the city, you can hear confusion in the city. People are talking, shouting, screaming. They don't know what's going on. And all around the outside of the main city wall, you can see figures lined up all the way. There's the, the, the line is not quite complete yet. These figures are slowly walking towards to create this line. And you see your mother up there and she is holding a spyglass, a leather spyglass with a crystal in the end, which she twizzles as she's looking out. Mother? Hello, dear. We have a slight a puzzling problem. Morning, okay. ideal and problems. Hello, I'm Kaya. Nice to see you again. Yes. Yes, it's nice to see you too. And you will notice your mother is nervous. She mm -hmm. is a strong woman. You know how scared most people are of her. And shes you can see she's trying to stand strong, but she seems to be just like shaking a little bit as she holds this, almost like a makeshift telescope. What's going on? And she just thought, I think you should have a look. And she holds the spyglass out to you. Mm -hmm. These figures that are lining all the way around the city as they filter in to row upon row are warforged. And they are standing to attention as they filter in. As the line is complete, you see them slowly start to walk towards the city. Ah. Oh. I don't understand. I do. Well, are they, has anyone sent a message? Are they? They have been stood there for the last six hours forming this line. I don't know what they are doing. I don't has... understand. And she's more sort of talking to herself now. Mm -hmm. Has anyone closed off the skywalk? No, I don't, they haven't shown anything hostile, they're just standing there. And no one knows why. No. Would you, with your abilities, obviously, she sort of just looks Side, is it? Would you meet with them, but as Ophelia? And sure. please take. And she sort of looks at Vesh slightly and then more towards Kaya and the other two Warforged. Take them with you. And then she looks at all of them. Don't let anything touch her. Am I understood? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Gladly. And then she looks to Tar, says, I'm going to ready the guards. I don't know what they're doing. Nothing hostile has come through this, but just be ready. Okay. All right. Uh... I will keep an eye from above. Yeah. Uh... Tart will, uh, really, I mean, she knows how to move when she needs to, so she just grabs the kind of, uh, something that she would wear that's easy to put on, that she would wear to, like, a meeting between that, uh, dragon marked houses, and, uh, meets everybody, I think, at the entrance, and, yeah, if everybody is coming, she'll start walking down, yeah, you walk through the streets, all of you, I'm assuming. Blue sort of hobbling behind, and you can see people talking, whispering, and just to, like some people seem to be panicking. You've got other people going, I told you, I told you not to, can't trust them, and you know, the normal sort of thing. And 
blues looking like as nervous I suppose as a warforge could look um, and it's sort of trying to actually stick to Emmett Emmett um, will put their hand on Blue's shoulder and keeps him close and people will look at Emmett and Blue some of them not in a nice way but that is a lot of it is more questioning as you walk down and you can see at the very lowest part of the city a huge main gate solid uh, wood wooden gates elaborately decorated and there are guards around them and the gates are open they haven't been closed since the since the last war and you can see beyond the gates this line of of warforged uh, have any of them come close? Not yet. You can see some are still filing into this line. This looks to be almost like um, a circle that is slowly surrounding the entire city, and they're filling in a line of three or four all the way around. Would I recognize this as some sort of tactic? Which is completely new. The, the, the only thing that you would recognize is formation. Um, just because you would have stood in a formation like this, not for any particular reason. It's more like a. Um, you would have had to take an order um, or something like that. But there's nothing untoward. Um, the only thing that is untoward to it about it is that you know that. Um, what Warforged now, we're there, they're not needed, we don't need, um, they don't have their primary job anymore. Um, so that's why they're taking up smaller jobs, they're developing more of a personality and that. So this is probably, you recognize it from the war, as does Blue. Um, but otherwise, apart from that, it's quite a weird thing and they just stand there. And you can see the, you can hear the wind. Do these seem like these are warforged? Uh, I say like city warforged, or do these seem like they've come from somewhere else? I mean, is this like the warforge of the city have gone outside and gotten in this formation, or is this like this is a force of warforged that have come from somewhere else? These an array are an array of warforged. You can see some look like maybe they've been in different terrains. Some are falling to bits. Uh, some are bigger than others. The other thing you'll notice is a couple of the Warforged from the city you're in are leaving the gates, walking towards them. Okay. You met? Yes. Do you feel any desire to go out there? You met kind of cocks their head. And if they could, it would be like their sensation of taking like a deep breath and a moment of like waiting to see if they receive any sort of like order or anything. And if they, I assume they don't feel anything? You don't feel anything. If anything, some of the Warforged that have gone out to greet from the city that have gone out to greet, you see them turning around and coming back. Uh. No, I feel no compulsion, desire or order to go stand. Uh, if one's coming back, I'll wave, uh, one of and them down. It sort of, it's eyes being a different color, and it comes over to you, is it? How may I be of service? You know what's going on out there? I don't understand what they're talking about. What are they what? saying? I don't understand. And it just turns and walks back towards what you can assume is a merchant, maybe its owner or someone mm -hmm. it works for. Uh, I'll flag another one down and I'm slowly making my way toward the line. Okay. As you walk towards the line, some of the other Warforged uh, that are coming back, um, they nod to you. They don't say anything. They just keep walking. And you see as the line of Warforge slowly fills in one last line. All of the eyes bing in unison. And they're blue. 
uh, Emma, does that have any sort of meaning if like your eyes change color? I've heard of mood rings, but uh, how do your eye wo eyes work? Emet's never like spent time in front of a mirror. So, player, I know that their eyes change dependent upon what they're feeling. Character, I'm gonna say Emet has seen other Warforged eyes change, but have never noticed their own or understood their own. So, what I would say Emmett does know is that it's purely down to the individual Warforged. So, so for Emmett, for them all to do this in one go, it's slightly odd. This is not normal. The eyes no. can change color, but this is different. Do you think something's controlling them? That would be my guess. Or can, commanding. Can we hear anything being said from them? Are they making any sound? They are silent. It's literally as the last one slots into place, the eyes go glow blue, and as a full line, they start to walk towards the city. Oh, uh, when that happens, Emmet will step in front of Tart mm -hmm. and direct Blue to guard like her side, since they were ordered to protect her. Blue jumps effectively to the side, even if it is sort of a arm off sort of thing, a stagger. I and think. As, sorry, go on. We need to get. I think we need to tell someone to close the gate. As you do this, one of them stops and steps forward, seeing Emmett in blue, and walks towards you slowly. What is Vesh and Kaya doing at this point? Because Tart's walked a little bit further forward. And Emmett and Blue have sort of followed. Um, Vesh is, again, he had never seen Warforged before coming in. He had seen the ones being helpful in town. Emmett is his friend. Um, <sighs> Emmett? Um, is a uh, is that your family? No. This is not my family, Vesh. Do you think they're Do you think they're going to do something bad? Yes and no. Formations typically depict acts of violence, but they could be told to hold more of a siege, starve everyone out, which isn't necessarily them doing something bad. Uh, maybe we should get back inside the wall? We need to go inside now. Um, Tart will start running back and looking for the whoever controls the gates the gates as you run back are being held open by the warforged that by returned warforged. and one of the ones steps forward leaving the rest of the line behind and walks slowly towards Emmett. Emmett stays there when they see this coming. I stay there with Emmett as well. I was going to say, Vesh would, if I see it, or see that Emmett's not coming with us, even if he has to turn around, Vesh would go back to Emmett, his friend. And Blue will stand as well. What is Tart doing? Tart is uh, probably not out of earshot, but when she sees the Warforged opening the 
uh, holding open the gate, she is considering making them close it. So she's probably halfway between and kind of stops a bit uh, halfway between the, the, the gate and the group. Uh, when she sees the others aren't coming, but she's, she, yeah, she's considering something right now. This Warforged walks forward. This Warforged is the same height as Vesh. It is much bigger than Emmett, and definitely blue. And it stands, and it looks at each of them. You can see uh, this Warforged looks pretty battered, actually. Um, not from being attacked or anything, purely from old age. Um, it's got a replacement arm, you can see, because it's a slightly different colour. There's some rust around one of the side. And it looks to Emmett, and then at Blue. And then back to Emmett. You must return to the cause. On whose orders? You must return to the cause. No orders were given. So then why return if no orders were given? You must return to the cause. You might well look at blue. And go, now I know why the others were confused. And Blue just does that a really creaky nod. And then it turns and looks to Vesh and Kaya and just glances back at Tart. And its eyes flash green. For your own safety, you will return to your domicile. Hey now, Kaya says not really understanding that she's out of her depth. What what's all this about? Are you just collecting them? Are you she kind of slides up closer within about about a good five feet of it and says, Look, everyone's just a bit concerned because this is not exactly normal. Um why don't why don't we talk about this, yeah? Please return to your domicile it is for your own safety why are we in danger we preserve life you must then... be safe please return to your domicile what's going on that people are in danger please return to your domicile please return the favor of answering the question you are all a danger to yourselves. Please return to the domicile. Emet laughs for the first time at that. Because <laughs> I've seen this happen quite often. He's like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> that is truth. Do we see anything else, like, over the horizon, past the line? There's absolutely nothing. Everyone, I think we need to get inside. Kaya raises her voice a little. Why don't you tell me exactly why we're a danger? You're scaring these people, and you're the ones who are going to get hurt. Just why don't you talk this out? Use that, uh, whatever, however your voice works. Come on, just do us a favor, and just don't be so damn spooky about this. We were built to protect life. Please return to your domicile. And it reaches out towards Kaya as if to grip. You might well intercept the hand. Nat 20 to oh. grab Kaya. Oof. It's Oof. not hurting. It's not doing anything at all. It's it's almost like a comforting shoulder as if to turn you around to move that you back towards is the city. A flash of fear on Kaya's face. Uh oh. And suddenly the Grimace returns, her face tenses, and she reaches in, Nat 20 grabs a dagger, and 
stabs it in the side. Yep, you can do that. This is looking like a fairly tattered one, and it sort of blinks a couple of times and falls to the ground, like to its knees, and is like it's like it's wearing. And this is this will be very bizarre for Emmett because it looks like it's it's fully malfunctioning and it's f- freaking out. And you see it suddenly go yellow eyes. It's like, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Why is it? And it just crashes down. Kaya's eyes go wide and she drops the dagger and takes three steps back. Why did I? I, I didn't. I, I didn't. And she looks to her, her friends. I, 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 I didn't. Get inside. All of you, get inside. And then all in sync. In syn- I can't even say the word. Synchronized. You hear, please return to your domicile. And they start to walk towards you. This is where we will leave this episode of everyone until next week. No! (laughs) No! (sighs) Cool, 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 cool. Tight, 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 tight. Everyone okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. <Nope. laughs> sorry, <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what we'll do is we're going to go round. Um, I'd love to hear what your favorite bit is, what you're thinking after that, and maybe what your character's thinking. And obviously, self-promote yourself. Whack those links in the chat. We don't block them. And go for it. So... We will start with Kaya or Derek. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Derek. I play the mess that is Kaya. Um, You can find me on Twitter at Archmage underscore Derek, uh, where I do a bunch of posting from my website, themagecollege.wordpress.com, where I'm constantly doing stuff like uh, homebrew races, uh, classes, uh, we just added on a new member, Tahina Andale. Uh, she did an awesome uh, Fey playable race that just came out, the She. Check that out. And tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern, I am GMing our first episode of Scattered Ashes, a 7th C game. Ooh. So uh, go find And thank you so much. My favorite thing of the night was probably uh, just watching just all the reactions go over everybody's face. Every time something Kaya said, something she had no idea about. You guys, watching you guys grimace was just a lot of fun. Um, and how Kaya's feeling? Panic. Nothing but panic and remorse and guilt and shame. And it's great. Fun. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Derek. And don't forget to pop your links in chat if you want to go for it. So, and also our lovely uh, Lauren or Tart slash Ophelia, because, you know. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Lauren. I'm Matt Salty Ginger over on Twitter. Uh, that was crazy. That took so many twists and turns. I think my favorite part was the uh, scene with Vesh and he met after Vesh's nightmare. I really, really loved that all around. Um, yeah. Oh, shit. Shit. That was crazy. Um, Right, yeah. Twitter, stuff, other things, games. I play games on the internet with my friends. Um, This Friday, over on Grimjack21502, uh, we're playing some Outbreak Undead, where you're in the zombie apocalypse, but you play yourself, so you only have your own skills to fend. I'm doing pretty well, guys. I found my chill in the apocalypse. I'm still alive. (laughs) (laughs) That's at uh, noon Eastern, uh, while we're on a break from Conan. And then Saturday, I'm over on the Greyhawk channel at 7 p.m. Eastern playing some uh, D&D 5e in Greyhawk, which is super fun. I'm a crazy, murderous halfling. Love it. Um, And then we just wrapped up our season three of Project Athena, Pulp Cthulhu campaign over on Grimdeck 21502. It is the thing that makes my heart sing. So if you have ever wanted to see some Pulp Cthulhu, uh, please go check that out over on uh grimjack21502 twitch or his uh youtube it is awesome we punch nazis we have feels we go insane together and it's a blast so 
I'll see y'all around. I can't wait until the next game because that was such a cliffhanger. Thank you. And we're going to pop up to Emmett. And how is Emmett feeling after seeing all of the wealth? Yeah, I'll let you go for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, that's almost, I don't know, flashback and I don't know, they're starting to like almost like revert after trying to become more of a person, like an individual. And now it's almost like a reverting, like, nope. Not allowed to now. I've got to go back to being who I was and back into war mode. <laughs> so a lot of confusion for a Met and all that. Uh, they also now think that picnics are when you go into a room and you confess your feelings and run away with people. <laughs> so. Yes. Of course. <laughs> oh, the favorite uh, part would probably be that dream. That dream sequence was amazing. <laughs> Oh, good. That's a very <laughs> I good feel so terrible for Vesh. Like, I feel bad doing it. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, I think Scrat's already popped your links in Twitter. So, last but certainly not least, Tool School. How are you feeling after that? You know, our boy Vesh, he is such, uh, so much fun to uh, play and to play off the other characters. And, uh, it's so great to have a, such a group of characters and you, Alice, as our DM, that uh, sort of empowers me to really throw myself deep into the emotions of a character and uh, really uh, immerse myself into, uh, into that dream sequence and then how everyone um, you know, brought something uh, you know, when he was coming out of it, uh, just sort of, I mean, and it, you, you know, everyone sort of for Vesh to sort of lean on afterwards and uh it's that's that's what dnd is all about you know sort of getting a chance to to really throw yourself into a scene or to throw yourself into your character and uh, i can't wait to see what this is all going to mean to vesh um seeing you know uh a warforged he's sort of gotten such a connection with with uh, emmet and now these ones that he doesn't quite understand um you know, uh, Emmet is, a, is the person he can't break. And that's, it's just, there's, it's almost like, it's almost like, a, you know, a, a comfort to him that, you know, you know, a lot of the things that have happened, you know, people do get hurt around Vesh, uh, not intentionally. They just, you know, accidents sometimes cause injuries. Um, and, uh, but anyway, no, it's been, it's, I, I love this campaign. I can't wait to play it again. Uh, and uh, see uh, what trouble or maybe even heroics our boy Vesh gets into and see what this dream is all about and uh, him finding a place to call home and a family. So anyway, yeah, I am Tall Squall. You can find me all over the internet as Tall Squall. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Big shout out to Vecna for such wonderful support of the channel, but also being uh, aware and so um, story driven with your donations that really that. Um, makes it fun to play with. Absolutely, awesome, thank you. Um, my favorite bits are literally all the character interactions. Um, I know I'm the DM and I know I'm putting it like to you, but I still get upset when Vesh gets upset, <laughs> even though I know it's basically my fault. Um, but yeah, I love this combination of characters. I think it's just awesome. So, um, okay, Discord. Um, we are a, like an inclusive family sort of feeling community and we talk D&D &D, and we talk all TTRPGs, everything. Or even if you just want to come in and have a chat if you're not having a good day or if you're having an awesome day and you want to tell us about it, like just come in for a chat. Twitter. If you want to be in one of our games, we have viewer games. Uh, I think we've got three viewer games um, every week uh, with a rotating cast. So that's 12 spots open every single week that you guys could be playing in. So just drop Scrat a DM on Twitter and we'll get you in one of those games. YouTube, we are catching up. As I said before, we are also still moving. We thought we'd be moved in fully by now, but we're almost there. Uh, Patreon. We are now full time and truly appreciate all support in every way that's available. And Patreon is one way of supporting us. And we also have merch um, using Redbubble. And I have to admit, like, 
I've seen the t-shirts. I, I love the t-shirts. I love everything on Redbubble. It just feels nice. And hopefully we'll get some more campaign personal sort of character art on some t-shirts and stuff very soon. We are also running a competition um, with the rainbow dice, um, with the pride dice, and I love them. I'm not allowed to keep them. Um, so we're giving them away in a competition and we've got two days left uh, for that one before we start another. So there will be another competition. So if you don't win quite win this one, there's another opportunity for afterwards. We are going to go and raid Encounter Roleplay because they are also, they, they're just awesome role players. And let's go and give them a bit of a hype. Um, just type in the Scrat hype um, into chat, let them know where you've come from. And just one last thing, another shout out to Vecna because that was awesome. Thank you so much, especially with um, sticking to the story. It's such a nice touch. So thanks very much, and we'll see you very, very soon next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>